Hi everybody, this is Apostle Mary Thomas and I'm coming to you today from a different perspective and a different arena. Um, some of you may or may not know that I am what is called a network marketer. For the past 19 years I've been in this wonderful industry, either part-time or full-time. I've made a career out of it um, because it's the best place to be. You always have to have a plan B. Even when I worked in corporate or even when I worked in sales, I always had a plan B and network marketing has never failed as far as that goes. Now, the purpose of this video is this. I've been getting a whole lot of inboxes from people who do know that I am in this industry and they ask me questions like, well, how can I grow this business? How come somebody didn't tell me that X, Y, and Z would happen? And different type of questions, you know, like that. And because my husband encouraged me to go ahead and start, you know, talking to people about things like this, you need to coach them, you know, it's okay. And then I kind of like took that on. Yeah, you know what it is okay to coach people because we are firm believers in sharing information is where you really show that you are caring about people. Now, I did... Um, some points and I put some points on a Facebook page um, with a company that I am partnered with and no I'm not going to tell you the name of the company but because I want to keep this as generic as possible because I know this is going to go up to YouTube and many people are going to share this video and I want them to be able to share the video and take the points and use them to help them to grow in their business and I think that that will be alright don't you so I'm not going to be before you long but however though I'll, let me just jump back and add this if you want to know about the company that I am partnered with if you want to join um, one of the fastest growing teams in that company I would be happy to share with you that information just inbox me or seek me out on Facebook and I am Mary E is for Excellence Thomas. Now don't forget to inbox me if you need further information and I'll be happy to share that with you. So I'm going to continue. I'm not going to be before you long. Now remember when you are building your business you will hear these four responses whenever you offer your company's product, service, or business opportunity. And those answers are yes, not now, need more information, or no. And what do you think your response really should be to each of these answers? Guess what? Your response should be, that's great. And I know you're like, that's great. What is she talking about? That's great. I'm going to show you why that answer, ju that's great, is really going to help you to grow in your business. Point one, with the yes response, you already know that you've gotten a customer or a new team member, partner, whatever your company's term is for that. And so, of course, you're going to be super duper excited and you're going to be, that's great. And then you hand them the paperwork or you open up your laptop and you type in the information and you sign your person up or you give your person, you know, after they purchase, you give your person their their product. Okay, so that's easy breezy on the yes. The next point is the not nows. Now the not nows does not mean that it's a no. Always remember in the back of your mind that it could be, just could be an issue of timing for them times being as they are they probably have to kind of like figure out in their mind financially okay what do I have to shift and move in order to do this you can see that gleam and that sparkle in their eye you can see that body language when they're like excited even if they're trying to pull it back when you see people kind of like leaning forward and kind of they're, they're looking like that or they got that inquisitive look in their eye and they got the little gleam in their eye that's because they're interested but in their mind they've got to figure out financially how am I going to do this they need to talk if they're married they need to talk it over with their spouse they think people tend to think 
50 miles a minute almost. You can say it like that while they're talking in two miles a minute because they're trying to figure it out. So don't get disturbed or put off by the not nows. Remember, it could be an issue of timing. Now with the need more information, once again, you need more information? Am I hearing that correctly? That's great. I got you. I'm going to get you the information that you need. Remember, you have resources at your command with whatever company that you're with. The person who brought you into this company, your upline, their person who brought them into this company, whoever is like some companies have directors, nationals, platinums, um, whatever they want, regionals, whatever, whatever your company's definition is, diamonds or double diamonds or whatever it is, utilize the family that in the company that you are with. There's always somebody that you can talk to and use as third party validation. Companies have something that's called sizzle lines now where it's pre-recorded, pre-recorded, um, information that's only like maybe about a minute and a half to two minutes long. There are some conference calls that are like 15 minutes long where the business opportunity is being presented. There are some companies who during certain seasons of the year do something that's called blitz day calls where for two weeks straight every four hours leaders are on the line presenting the business opportunity service or product plug your people in. Now with those sizzle calls, which I love to do, you make sure that you have that on speed dial on your phone. Make sure you have that on your cell phone. Make sure you have that on speed dial in your home phone. If you still have, you know, people still do have landlines, make sure you have that. And so that way, if you're with somebody, flip it open because you want them to hear the information strike while the iron is hot. Let them hear the information, put it on speaker, then patch them into someone don't wait. Sometimes you're, and let me just interject this piece here. You know, when you do the three way calls, utilize those things. But if you're in a situation where you can't wait, use that sizzle line, use that 24 hour a day, seven day a week sizzle line. Let them hear it immediately. Put it on the speakerphone. Let them know that you're going to give or you're going to have someone give them a call that's going to touch base with them if they need further information. Also, here's something else that's very key. I know in the past few years, people always kind of like downplay meetings. Oh, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Those are the people that's broke that don't want to go to the meetings. Sorry, don't mean to be funny, but they tend to be, you know, not successful. You know, I was told and trained um, by some very great people in another uh, company many, many, many years ago. If you're having a bad week, you need to go to your meetings because you need to hear the inspirational messages. You need to hear the training. You need to know. You need to be able to get the skills and get the tweaking of the skills that you already had. So if you're having a bad week, you need to go to the meetings. If you're having a great week, guess what? That meeting needs you. And here's a tip. Meetings make money. Regardless if they're home home business presentations where it's done in your home or someone else's home or if it's done at a, a church fellowship hall or wherever the meetings are, remember meetings are there and meetings are going to make you money. So utilize that. And also you can touch basis with anybody that's in your company. Use them, pull them in as a third party validation. See, I love, there's so much that you can do with the ones that say, I need more information. And I get excited about that because that's your job. You are an educator. You are there to educate the person. You're not there to convince them. You are, you, you are an educator. You are there to educate them on the product, the service, or, or the business opportunity. So that way they can be more healthier or have a great service or, or whatever the product is or whatever the company is that you're working with. So I get really excited about the um, need more information. And lastly, we're going to talk about the no's. Now, this is what the people don't like. They don't like to hear the no's because the spirit of rejection now comes on them. Let me give you a hint and take this to heart. When people tell you no, they're not rejecting you personally. They're just simply rejecting, if you want to use that word, the product, the service, the business opportunity. Knows when they tell you no and they're like, 
No, this is not for me. No, I don't, I'm not interested. Thank you. Oh, okay. That's great. Well, listen, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, thank you so much for your time. If you'll allow me, I'd like to leave you with my business card. And one more, once again, thanks. Have yourself a wonderful day. And you keep it moving. The no's are great. Why are the no's great? The no's are great because now you know you can move them out of your um, funnel or out of your, your list that you have and you can go ahead and go to the next one. Now know that you're going to get no's. You will get no's, but never take it to heart. Never take it personally. They're not rejecting you. They just don't want the product the service or the business opportunity and with all of those that's great responses always keep in mind that after every scenario you should always be thinking now who is the next person that I can bless by presenting because it is a present that you're giving everyone is not going to accept the present but it is a present that you're giving who is the next person that I can bless with my product, my service, or my business opportunity. This has been Apostle Mary Thomas, and I want to say God bless you and all that you put your hands to do. I wish you super success. I declare it and I, and I decree super success in all that you put your hands to. And until the next time, I'll holler at y'all later. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye.